everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these earrings, which have a little bunny in the middle and then some flowers going around them. There are some tricks for how to layer flowers when you're doing more than one flower next to each other so that the acrylic flowers sit really nice together. So make sure you watch through for that and I will see you all next time. Bye. Just like normal for making a pair of earrings, we're gonna start with a sketch. So I'm going to start by tracing the inside of this big hoop that I have. And it's kind of interesting on the one corner because that's where it goes through my ear. But you do wanna clip that corner off because that's also where your ear lobe is going to be and you don't wanna get in the way of that. Doodle your little bunny. After your bunny is doodled inside the shape that you drew, then you're going to take your acrylic colors on top of a nail form backing and you're going to start sculpting the base of your bunny shape. Whenever you do a pair of earrings, I. I just mentioned that you want to always do a drawing first. The reason for that is typically, unless you're going for totally different asymmetrical earrings, you want the right and the left pair to match. You want them to be the same or at least very close. And if you do a doodle like I did first on a piece of paper, if your pen bleeds through, you can flip your paper over and then you have a mirror image of the sketch that you drew to sculpt. So you've got a template for both the left and the right ear. So repeat that process. Everything I've done for this, you're going to do everything twice so that you have two earrings, but you're going to flip everything over. After the base of your bunny is completed, then you're going to just hold that against your hoop earring and you're going to attach it with a smidge of clear acrylic. Then taking more of whatever color acrylic that you're using for your bunny, you're going to build up all of the shapes. Now, the one thing to keep in mind when you're picking colors for your bunny rabbit is I think it is absolutely adorable when bunnies have like the lighter area right around their cheeks and their chin and down their chest. And I think that just really brings a lot of character to them and a lot of depth perception. So with that in mind, even though it's so tempting to make a bright white bunny, especially for Easter earrings, I would recommend not doing that. Refrain. If you want to do a basically white bunny, take whatever shade of gray you have that is the absolute lightest and lighten it. Mix some gray acrylic with some white acrylic and get the most pastel shade of gray you possibly can and use that so that you still have the ability to use white acrylic to brighten up those areas. And if it's a light enough gray, your eye won't necessarily even notice that it's not white. It'll just look like it's a white bunny that has these beautiful highlights on it. So do uh, just keep that in mind. I think a cream colored bunny is just as adorable. So we're going that route. I'm going to add lots of different shape around the face. I'm going to push in the eye sockets as you saw with the very rounded point of my brush. And then I'm going to add the little indents on the ears. I'm going to take a lighter shade of cream and I'm going to brighten up that tummy area. Just kind of start it out. And then I'm going to add some white on top of that. So I'm going to use the three colors on the tummy. I think that really brings it forward. Around the eyes, I'm going to pat in some of that white acrylic. I'm doing everything kind of slowly and cautiously when I'm sculpting something like this. I don't want to rush the process. I don't want to go too fast. So just keep in mind that you want to go nice and slow and take your time. Acrylic sometimes encourages you to go faster just because of the kind of the nature of it curing and hardening as you're working with it. Sometimes it almost makes, at least maybe it's just me, makes me feel like I just need to go faster. So you try to refrain from that. Take white acrylic and add the little bunny cheeks with a shimmery pink. I'm going to add just a touch of that inside the ears. And then with a darker shade than the cream I was using in the beginning, I'm going to add a bit of shading in certain areas right underneath, kind of on the shoulders under the chin, and then up the nose just to bring that and a little bit on the tips of the ears. Just a touch. You, again, we're going for kind of soft Easter colors. You don't want to go too crazy, but adding that little bit of shading just really brings everything out. And now going back with my original color, the cream color, I'm going to be adding my bunnies to little front arms. I'm not going to worry too much about detailing anything below the arms as far as legs or feet go in that way because I am planning to put that row of flowers going right along the bottom of the earring. So don't overdo it. I'm going to add just a bit of the hip, but not anything, not anything farther down. And even for those hips, you don't have to be too detailed or go too crazy with them. It can be very simple. As you saw, I did one arm, one hip, and now I'm going to do the other arm and the other hip. The reason for that is because you're allowing that first arm of acrylic to have that chance to cure and to harden before you go and start working on top of it, which is always a good idea to kind of give what you just finished, If as long as you're happy with it, of course. If you're like, oh, yep, that looks good, leave it alone. Leave it alone until you can't mess with it anymore. If you're ever curious about if something is hard enough that you can work on top of it and you don't, you know, you didn't know this. This is the clue. You want to always go like this. I don't know if you, hopefully you can hear that. That is acrylic clicking on acrylic. So you can use, you don't have to use acrylic. I was just clicking my nails together. Um, but you can use like a pen or something, even the back of your brush, just tap on it. And if it makes that 
a really nice little clicky sound, then you know it's done. Same thing if you didn't know if your nails were ready to be filed. You can always click them and see if they're ready. On the back of my bunny, now that my front of my bunny's done, I'm going to add just a bit of acrylic to round out the shape so that they don't look so flat and smooth anymore. And then with white acrylic, I'm going to add my fluffy little bunny tail. I couldn't resist. I don't know if the backs of these earrings will even really get seen just with how they'll sit in my ears, but, but, haha, <laughs> funny. Um, I had to finish the butt. I just had to. You had to add the little bunny butt. So we're going to do that with that bead of white acrylic. Just take the tip of your brush and just poke it repeatedly until it gets that nice fluffy cottony look. Add just a little bit of the brown for some shading, but that's all you got to do. To make the flowers, I'm going to take my nail form backing and a lavender acrylic and I'm going to make a little strip, kind of like a, I don't know, a hot dog shape. And then I'm going to put three beads of that lavender acrylic down next to it. And I'm going to try to leave this alone until it is ready to manipulate into my flower. It's hard because you're staring at them. You don't want to do anything else and get distracted because then your opportunity will be gone. But once it's just cured enough where you can start rolling this up, and I'm also going to use the help of a silicone cone shaped tool you're going to want to roll that first hot dog shape up into a little flower center into a little cone and then grab your other circles that you flattened out and use those as your first row of petals i love to use my silicone tool when i'm making flowers that i don't necessarily want them to be very closed in the middle they can be a little bit more open because it's such a nice handle to make these flowers around sculpt a section of circles that are ever so slightly bigger than the first one and then you're going to pick those up and place them around your little flower base when you're placing the flowers you want to place the next petal over the connection of the previous ones almost like you're laying bricks after your first flower is done set that to the side if you have more than one of those cone shaped silicone tools get them out and make two flowers at a time it goes so much faster and so much easier that way. But repeat the process for color number two. I'm going to be doing three different colors. I'm going to do a pink, a teal, and a purple, like you saw. I'm going to make two teal, one pink, and one purple. You can decide whatever color you want to be the one that has two. The reason I did go with the teal for the second color is because that little bit of pink in my bunny's ears, the teal is the furthest color from the pink, so the contrast would be nice. I've got my first little row. For whatever color is going to be in the middle in the center of the bunny, you want that one to be the biggest. So that's going to be my purple. I'm going to place that one down. That one is the only flower that I started out with three rows of petals. Then the smaller flowers you're going to want to put next to that middle one. The reason you're doing that is because you're going to add some petals around the ones on the outside that will kind of tuck in and around even the purple flower. And if they were already in place, the flowers may not nest as well. So those you're just kind of doing the middle base of them. We will add more to them in a moment. So there's the pink one. And then you're going to want to add that first teal one. And then the one that goes across the ear, that extra teal flower is going to be the smallest. It's gonna be even smaller yet. The other thing with that is you wanna place that one, whatever color you're using twice on the opposite ear. So if it's on the left side of my bunny, the, it's gonna go over the right ear. And just make sure when you're doing the two earrings that you keep track and you do it the same way on the other side, but again, mirror image. Now on your nail form backing, you're going to want to sculpt a couple petals of whatever colors you look at it and you need to fill in with. I'm going to do some pink and some teal. If you happen to need some more of the purple or whatever your middle color is, you can definitely add more of those as well. I didn't feel I needed to and I thought my purple flower looked perfect just the way that it was, but I am going to add some more of those other petals just to fill in the gaps. I'm gonna grab my teal petal. You can add them around both the flowers at the bottom of the bunny and around that one that's by the ear. Whatever ones you need to. Add a little bit of color to the inside of each of your flowers. Because of that cone-shaped silicone tool, they had almost a hole right through them. So you could string them on something like a necklace or something if you wanted. Um, but I'm going to fill that in just with whatever color that flower is to fill in the gap. Once you have all of those petals done and all your flowers look nice and full and even, grab some acrylic paint and start doing the details on your bunny that are missing. So we don't have eyes or a nose or any fur texture and my camera is loving my fingernails instead of what we're painting. Sorry about that. I'm also going to take some white acrylic paint and I'm going to farther 
brighten up some of those areas that aren't as bright. And so I'm going to put a little bit on the cheeks and I'm actually going to do a little smidge of pink in the cheeks too, just to give them kind of that like rosy blushy look. And then with some brown acrylic paint, I'm going to take and I'm going to do my outlines. So instead of doing outlines with black, I would highly discourage you from using black outlines on this adorable little bunny wabbit. Instead, I would go with brown to start with. And especially if you're doing like the brown tones, go with brown. If you went the gray tone route, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, then I would go with kind of a medium gray. I wouldn't go too dark keeping them all kind of light and soft with black paint the one thing you are going to do though is you're going to give your bunny his eyes and possibly depending a little outline on the bottom of the nose and down kind of doing that split lip back to brown add some more little outlines here and there add some little polka dots on the cheeks for where the whiskers would come out little lines here and there just keep adding the tiniest little bits of lines until you're happy with the overall look I would recommend adding some more pink in the ears. I didn't think the pink that I used in my ears was pink enough. I thought it just looked a little too a little too light. Here I'll go through and I'll add some more of those white white highlights like I mentioned, especially in any areas that seem like they're kind of getting lost in the background. Just brighten those up, really make everything nice and defined. You also want to put a tiny little white dot in each of the eyes for a reflection. Apply some matte top coat over your bunny, and then I am going to put some crystals around the flowers a little bit just to fill in the bouquet. So I'm going to place down jewelry gel in a few different spots at a time. I'm not going to do like all of them all at once. You can if you want to place down all the jewelry gel, but I kind of wanted to do just a little bit here and there and kind of get some of the crystals placed before I went through with the rest of the jewelry gel. Kind of helps me eyeball and plan out where things will go. I'm going to place in some of those smaller ones. I'm going to do a mix of bigger and smaller and a mix of colors. So I've got these pointy back crystal rhinestone things that they're actually glass rhinestones. They're not really crystal, um, but I'm going to use those. And I think the pointy backs fit in and tuck in around the flowers really well. So if the crystals sit up more instead of laying down flat, I think in this circumstance, they look better on nails. I absolutely despise the pointy back ones because they just don't ever, I don't ever think that they sit right. I've seen different combinations of them where they look okay, but I just think this is the right application for them. So if you have some, this is a great time to use them. After that's been cured, this is all done. And he's so cute. Oh, they're just so adorable. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. I do have another Easter video coming up for you in a few days. So check back for that and I'll see you all soon. Bye.